Well, hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome to round two of our professional style discussion. We're going to talk about trade professions and, you know, sometimes we think, well, what is a trade job? That's a job where one, you usually work with your hands, you work with your heart too, because it's usually something that you're passionate about because you get a specialized skill or you obtain some type of certification to do that work. Um, so here's a couple of examples of trade jobs. You all got to meet Chief on Saturday or Sunday, I guess, and say you were interested in being a pet groomer. You have to know so much about grooming a pet from the different breeds to the temperament uh, to handling the animal to allergies. Do you have certain allergies to certain breeds or does that breed have certain allergies to products you may use on that particular breed when you're grooming them? That's the thing with trade jobs. You have to dig deeper into the outcome without having any issues because it is about the end result. All jobs are about the end result, but with the trade business, it's usually more aware. You're aware of it right away if it worked or if it didn't work. Um, like construction, that's another trade job. How amazing is it for you to drive past a building and you think, wow, I remember 20 years ago that building wasn't there. But then you think about when that construction team started building and to see it come from nothing to a shell to a building and all of the jobs that goes into making that project work that is enough to just take my breath away because you one have to have your designers you have to have your machine workers you have to have your project construction managers you also have um subcontractors that you work with like your elevator uh, designer, like Otis Elevator. I hope I don't get pinged for saying that, but you know, your elevator designer. Uh, you also have to know a lot about math and physics. And if you are building a skyscraper, are you scared of heights? Because once you get 20 stories up, uh, you know, you might get a little bit of vertigo. So those are things to think about too. But I imagine if you are a construction worker and you can take a blank canvas and make a beautiful structure, that's something that you should be very proud of. And then last but not least, I had to put something pertaining to food on here because a baker is a very good example of a trade job. Um, not only are you one baking a cake or cupcakes or what have you, you are working with a client to build memories for whatever their event is. So one, you need to know if they have allergies. You have to know the theme of their event. You have to determine if you're going to deliver the product to the location. And if so, how are you going to do so? Do you need special licensing for this? And with all of the jobs that I've mentioned, just to name a few, you always want to look to see what types of certifications or licenses are needed in order, you know, to meet the state guidelines um, and regulations. Um, and the most amazing thing about trade jobs, they're usually jobs that you can go into business for yourself over time. Now, obviously, going into business for yourself isn't everybody's dream or goal, but you can always follow that footprint but if you do decide to go into business with yourself, then do you like working with people? Because if you're a business owner, you really have to be good at managing relationships uh, because those relationships can go for generations, really. Um, and you hear stories of that where it was passed down from my grandfather or my grandmother. And, you know, here we are two decades or two generations later, and this is still our family business. There's a lot to be proud in the trade industry and uh, or with a trade job. And so I wanted to make sure we gave that profession a lot of respect and love, too. Um, we couldn't function without our trade industry. We just couldn't. Um, so 
I won't drag this out any longer. Um, we're, our next topic will probably be around frontline workers. I'm trying to save corporate America for last because this is, this is causing me to think. And as I said before, you know, we're at a place now where changing career paths may not be a bad idea. We've all had some type of reflection. And so this is just ponder points, as I called them the other day, to determine, is there something more I want to do with the time that I have here? And do I have a passion or a hobby that just truly lights me up? Is that something that I can do for a career? Those are things to consider, but whatever you decide to do, I thank you for showing up to this world the way you do. Um, if you enjoyed this topic, hit the thumbs up. Also, leave some comments and let me know what you do for a living or your favorite type of work. Or if you work in the as have a trade job, what, tell me how it is because I think it's amazing. And there are times we're on YouTube where I'll just go and look at how a building is built and I'm like, wow at that and you know you learn so much with trade jobs because of the specialized knowledge that you need to know to be successful in what you do so i hope you enjoyed this this discussion and i will see you in our next topic be safe as always and i will see you very soon